Hello everyone, welcome to DS Travel. I'm Dan and I'm in Xiamen right now, bright and early, just walking along the river. And today in this video, we are moving away from the tourist area and try to go deep into the old town of Xiamen and try to find all the hidden gems that the locals love. And we're also gonna explore the street of Xiamen, the real Xiamen, not just a tourist area. And there's gonna be a lot of amazing street food. And if you like this video, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button. That really means a lot to me. Thank you. And now, let's go. Right up front, it's one of the most tried street food of Xiamen, Sa Cha Mian. Let's go check it out. Alright guys, finally getting my Sa Cha Mian and this place was super famous. I come off peak hours, people still coming by. I had the noodle, I added dark blood, uh, fried tofu and squid. Really a feast in this one bowl of Sa Cha noodle. Let's first give that soup base a try. Oh, rich, creamy, peanutty and just has that nice savoriness to it, really complex savoriness. It's a little different from the satay sauce in the Southeast Asia. This one is a little more savory but still very nutty, not as sweet. This is phenomenal. Okay, let's try the toppings that I added to it. Duck blood, one bite. It's, it's sort of like um, dark flavored, the jello, you bite into it, it just explode and break apart. And there's no I don't taste any of the irony kind of taste. It's just really fresh and sort of kind of meat flavor in it. This is really nice, top notch. Oh. Next, let's try the yo tofu, that fried tofu. Mm. Amazing. It's crispy, a little crispy on the outside. It's fried on the outside. Once you bite into it, it's bouncy, it's soft. And you just get a nice texture to it. And there's a little bit of hole inside that tofu. So got all the nice satsa flavor. It's a flavor bomb. Really? Wow. Phenomenal. Let's try it sweet. Bouncy, fresh, not very crispy, but it's also not chewy. It's also it's really soft. You bite into it, breaks apart. Just nice texture. Now let's get to the noodle. That noodle. Really nice. Soak up all the salsa flavor. I mean you got you got a soup base this good. Anything you put in it, it's gonna taste good. The noodle, it's not chewy. It's not like the northern kind of noodle where they focus on the strength. Not much of a strength to it, but this is very common in Xiamen. It's basically, everybody loves this noodle. Oh, I'm, I'm sweating all over, but I'm still loving this noodle. Really love it. Come here and try this, guys. All right, guys. Let's go try a bowl of wonton that the old shamanese like. This is Bang Xi Bian Shi, and this is one of the old Xiamen Bian Shi place. And Bian Shi is basically wonton. On the north, it's called wonton. In the south, here, this is called Bian Shi. And in Guangzhou, this is called Yun Tun. Pretty much the same thing, the slight variation in the seasonings and how they made it, and the sizes are a little different too. It's looking pretty good, and I can smell that fried shallot aroma just coming through. Really nice. And inside the filling, different from the normal dumpling, this is actually you use like real lean meat, only the lean pork. 
this is authentic bian shi. The filling to the skin, the skin is actually a lot more than the filling, and you're tasting that that bouncy, little chewy, that nice skin texture. When you bite into it, that that meat, although it's not a lot, but you can still taste a really lean pork kind of a flavor, really nice flavor, really flavorful. Let's try the soup. Ah, oh, that that soup base. You can taste that umami from the pork from soup, and also that fried shallot in there. It's phenomenal. That fried shallot. You put it in anything, it's gonna taste good. Very different from the normal dumplings, but very tasty. Love it. Okay, guys. Right up front, there's something I haven't tried in a long time. It's duck porridge. Let's go check it out. Oh, 鸭箭头也加一点。鸭箭头是胃的一部分，是不是？这是鸭汤是吧？还是卤汤？Finally getting a nice bowl of duck porridge, and I have the duck meat, the duck heart, and duck pieces, and I think some duck intestines too. And you have a nice um, smooth porridge as well, very spicy. Let's try the porridge first. <coughs> so it's it's a really comforting bowl of soup, and the flavor wise, it's it tastes sort of like um like a chicken soup kind of flavor. I think they probably add some、um, chicken MSG in there, and it's not a really thick soup. You can see the grains of rice in there. Not a lot of rice, but it's really comforting and smooth.、Mm. Let's try the duck. Oh, oh! The duck was flavorful, super flavorful, meaty, and on on top of it, there's a little skin that's a little fatty. Oh, the duck is super flavorful. It's a little chewy. You can taste that meaty texture, but it can still, you know, still soft. They can a couple chew and it just, you know, falls apart. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Hey, let's try the duck intestine. The duck intestine was really crunchy and really clean. Really nice. Oh, this is a duck heart.、Mm, that's the heart texture I like. It's bouncy, little chewy, little jello-like, and just. A little crumbly when you bite into it. A couple bites it breaks apart.、Mm, really nice and the flavor. You get that little bit of the organy duck flavor together with that that umami soup. Flavorful. Let's take a big bite of everything. Layers of texture and flavor. When you first bite into it, of course you first get that the mild, you know, umami savory porridge, and then your teeth will hit something bouncy, something crispy, probably the intestines and the heart, and Then when you start to chew, that dark meat just comes into play and dominates everything. You just tasting that meaty, savory dark meat. Really nice, really nice.、Mm. Nice porridge is so comfortable, so comforting. Guys, right up front, I heard this place got some amazing soup dumplings and also sour pickle bamboo shoot soup. Let's go check it out. Just got my soup dumplings and my sour pickle bamboo shoot soup. This is the famous soup soup dumplings. It actually looks a little different from the ones in Shanghai. We gotta give it a try and see how this compare. And another one that we have is sour pickle bamboo soup. This is really nice. 
You can smell that nice mild sourness, really flavorful. I can't wait to give this a try. This is my one of my favorite soup. Let's try the soup dumpling first. Mm. Wow, juice explosion. Really packed with a lot of juices. Can taste that, that, that umami, that xian from that pork. It's really flavorful. And the outside steam, you know, nice and chewy. Goes with that soup very well. But it's, it's honestly, it's lacking a little bit of that meaty taste and meat texture, but it's still super flavorful. Now let's try this sour pickle, the bamboo shu soup. It's a lot of bamboo shu in there, really, really nice. And you also have tofu. I think this is part of the uh, silk tofu. And you also have lean pork, like pork pieces. Can't wait to give it a try. That, that sour aroma just keep hitting my nose. First sip. Oh, the soup is amazing. That, that light sourness, not overly sour and not salty. It's really clear, light, but it's, it just gives your saliva running. Just feels really comfortable. Wow. Love it. Okay, let's try the bamboo. Mm. Crunchy every bite. Not overly sour, just that mild sourness. Let's try the tofu. Tofu is nice. It's probably normal tofu, but it with that mild sourness. Love it. The pork. Yeah. That pork is surprisingly tender. That's another layer of meatiness into the soup. Okay, let's try a bite with everything. I love this too. I can't stop drinking this and, or eating this. Mm. Oh, 